fast start, test complete, module three, the user interface and integrated desktop environment. In this module, we're gonna have a look at the test complete GUI, looking at the different panels and functionality delivered by those panels. We'll have a look at the object spy, which enables us to investigate our application and objects that are under test. We'll explore the visualizer, which captures screenshots whilst we're recording and playing back our tests. We'll have a look at the different items we find on the keyword test editor workspace panel. Then we'll dip into adding and removing items from our project explorer for the different components you can engage within your test complete projects. And finally, we'll look at how to lay out your desktop and reset the desktop if things aren't looking quite the way you expect them to. First up then, let's have a look at how we can select different panels, enabling them and disabling them within the Test Complete IDE. So if we look at the View menu and go to Select Panel, or press Alt plus zero, you'll see that we get a list of the different panels that you can hide or display within Test Complete. If we take one example here, we have the Properties panel, which is hidden, and if we double click it, it'll enable it, and we'll see the Properties panel displayed under the Project Explorer here. Properties panel is useful because you can select your tests or other objects within your project, and you can find out where those projects are located and their actual uh, test name or file name on your file system. We can remove panels by clicking on the cross button, the close button at the top. The next component worth mentioning then in the user interface is the object spy, which you'll use on a regular basis to examine your application under test. So we can click on the object spy button. This will open the object spy dialog box. And from here we have two options for pinpointing and identifying objects within our application. First, we can use the drag target to object. So we drag the target over an object, release the mouse button, and you can then see the three key aspects of your application. The name of the object that you've just identified, a list of properties for that object. Again, remembering you can use basic view or advanced view, and then a list of the methods or the actions that that object can carry out. So that's the first way to identify objects. Second way is to use point and fix. The reason we might use this is because if we're looking at a menu item, like the view menu, for example, and then we go to drag and drop, the moment we click on the drag and drop button, the menu disappears. So one way to identify those objects is to use the point and fix option. And here we click the button and then we can use control shift and A when we're ready to identify the object. So carry on to identify the, the menu button and then on your keyboard, press Control, Shift and A and it will pick out that object. I give you the name, the properties and the methods of the object. The other really important piece of functionality in the object spy is that once you've identified a particular object, say this button nine, for example, you can click on the highlight object and object tree button here and test complete will open up the object browser showing you the object you were looking at and its position in the hierarchy within the application under test so i can see that the button 9 object here that we looked at is a child object of this window psycalc calc plus and that window is a child object of the count plus process, which is the application under test. So moving on then, if we go back to our project workspace, we'll find the visualizer component within test complete. The visualizer component we can break down into two parts, the screen captures or visualizations we get during the record and the screen captures and visualizations we get on the playback. So when we record or create a test, you can see here in the visualizer panel that test complete takes a screen capture of your application at each point. So here, 
the test item is click button button 5 and you can see that image here where we click on button 5 in our application under test. So that's the captures during the record or the creation of your tests. When it comes to the playback, if we pick a particular log file for a playback and we drill down into that log file, we'll see the has picture item in the test steps for the replay and if we come into those and click on the picture image picture tab here we'll see we get an expected image which is what we just looked at in the workspace and the actual image during the replay and you can see these two match identically clicked on the equals button when we recorded it clicked on the equals button during the replay let's look next then at our keyword test editor we've already covered this briefly in one of the previous modules but when we double click on a test entity in the project explorer this test opens up in the workspace and we have a test workspace panel that's split into three areas one is the operations panel one is the test steps panel and the other is the visualizer panel which we've already looked at in those panels then you may find other tabs for other areas or aspects of the particular workspace so whilst we're looking at the test steps here for the test case we can also look at the variables click on the variables tab and this is the list of the variables for the test case or we can look at the parameters for the test case as well in the same vein if we double click on our project node here we open up the project in the workspace and this particular workspace panel for the project has the test items for the project on the test items tab we've got the variables for the project on the variables tab issue tracking templates logs and properties for our project so each different type of entity in the project workspace when you click on it will open up a different type of workspace finally then let's look at how we can configure the desktop we mentioned earlier that you can drag and drop these panels and you'll see that if you drag this panel you can position it at the bottom of the main panel by dragging it over this icon position it at the top by that one center it or put it over on the left hand side by positioning on that one what you will find is if you start doing this is that you may end up with your workspace a little bit disjointed or misconfigured if you like and at any time you can restore it by clicking on the view menu item and under there you'll see desktop and you'll have the option to restore default docking this maximizes the test complete window and restores all of the panels to their default layout which is the project explorer on the left workspace in the middle and visualizer and other options relative to their respective workspace panels last thing I'd like to touch on quickly is the option to add remove items from your project on all of these nodes or the majority of these nodes if you right click and bring up the context sensitive menu you'll see there's an add option and from here you can add items under the node that you've selected so at this point I'm adding a new item to my calc desktop project and the different types of project items I can add include events low-level procedures manual tests and when I enable one of those it'll add it to my project under the project node and I then have the ability at that node level to add items under the manual tests object so I can add new item here and this will add manual test number one under the manual tests node 
within the project. In the same vein, we can remove them. So we can go to add, uh, sorry, we can go to remove. And when we remove an item from our project, we actually get two options. We can remove it from the list and delete it from the file system. So you'll never be able to restore it. Or you can just remove it from the list and the objects are maintained on the file system so that you can add them back in. So I could add the manual tests back in by right clicking, add, and rather than new item, I can do existing item, locate the item on my file system, select the file itself and that will restore the project item within the project explorer for the project. Grasp those key concepts within test complete and understand how to navigate within test complete around those different windows, panels and workspaces and you'll soon come to grips with managing, manipulating and developing your tests within test complete.